title holder of these Grand Prix finals. Up against teammate Zhang Ning. And of course, Zhang Ning coming through Group B. Wasn't expected to do that. Beat the seeded player Mir Ordina of Indonesia yesterday in the last of the group matches to set up this all Chinese semi final. Of course, we've already seen the other ladies single semi final, which again was all Chinese. China totally dominant in the ladies singles event at the moment in world badminton. So Ye Zhao Ying, Anthony, very much the favorite for this. Quite definitely. She really has been the outstanding force since the retirement of Susie Sazanti. She is quite clearly the number one player in the world. And what all the young Chinese ladies aspire to is to support Ye Zhao Ying. Her court coverage is just so good. And she's such a strong lady as well. Very graceful. 24 years of age from Hangzhou. 1 meter 75, number one in the world, and in fact a finalist at these Grand Prix finals for the last five years, one on two occasions. And look at that record. Three titles last year, the Singapore All England and Asian Championships. And really now, as you were saying, Anthony, that Susie Suzanti has retired from playing. Mei Zhaoying quite clearly the number one in the world. But Zhang Ning, well, 23 years of age, same height as her opponent, qualified for the Grand Prix Finals tournament at number five. Won two tournaments last year, the Malaysian Open and the Copenhagen Masters at the end of December. But this, her first ever appearance in the semi-final stage of the Grand Prix Finals. So, Ye Zhao Ying's path through to this semi-final had a bit of trouble against her teammate Zhao Mi, only winning through in three games, but still topped the group. Her opponent just applying a knee support to her right knee. She came through to the semi-final stage. Look at that wonderful battle against Mia Mordina. 11-3, the deciding game. And these two players playing each other for the third time. Zhang Ning has yet to win one of their encounters. In fact, they met in the final of the All England in March last year. On that occasion, Ye Zhao Ying winning 11-5, 11-8. And I remember Ladies that final, Anthony. On my right, Ye Shao Ying, China. On my left, Zhang Ning, China. Ye Shao Ying to serve. Ye Lobo. Zhao Ying nearest to us as we look down on the court. And I was saying about that All England final, Anthony. Zhang Ning really looked terribly nervous in Birmingham last year. She really did. Very big stage in that national so indoor so arena. Ye Zhao Ying, of course, had been there in all those major finals. Zhang Ning, really, that was perhaps her biggest game to date. Ye Zhou Ying really established herself at the start of the match and never enabled Zhang Ning to recover from that. And that's what I think Zhang Ning perhaps could change in this big semi-final, and that is to try and make such a good start and gain confidence from that. Love I have to say, over the past 12 months, I think that Zhang Ning has actually improved her physique. She looks a lot stronger. I mean, of course, a very tall lady. But in the past, she's at times looked a little bit, I was going to say frail on court. That's probably the wrong expression. But she certainly looks stronger now. She certainly does. That was perhaps her one weakness. Very similar almost in style to Ye Zhao Ying. Of course, they're both 1 meter 75, identical. And Ye Zhao Ying's big strength, I feel, is in the strength in her quadriceps. She really can motor around the court very quick. When she's forced into a deep lunge, she's got that strength to recover. And that's one thing, one facet of the game that Zhang Ning really has learned to develop, getting a little bit stronger, which should help her out of trouble a little bit more. Three, 
Well, she certainly started in a very positive fashion. But you can see there, she was in all sorts of trouble, but with that wonderful court movement, seems to still stay on balance. Look how she keeps low as well. All top badminton players try to keep as low as possible, try and move that center of gravity towards the shuttle as opposed to if they're standing high up with straight legs, then the tendency is to move the center of gravity up and down that waste energy and it wastes time. Oh, nicely done. Just That's calmly great. out maneuvering her opponent, playing Ye her from one corner to another. Ye Zhang at her best. Sometimes we see Ye Zhang just a little bit impatient in rallies, going for winners a bit quick, and that's when she makes errors and can be vulnerable. She plays her best badminton when she does outmaneuver her opponent so and then play the shot into Three, the space. One. She's got such a repertoire of shots, though, that perhaps at times she, she doesn't know which one to play. She has so many options. knew exactly where the reply was going to come there, Zhang Ning. A weak cross-court lift from Ye gave Zhang Ning that attacking opportunity. It's landed in. Well, we've already seen one upset in the ladies' singles semi-final. A more fancy player, Gong Shi Xiao against Dai Yun. Dai Yun, of course, coming through. And Ye Zhao Ying here is in big trouble in this opening game. Very rapid movement across to that smash down the line from Ye. We've got a perfect view behind the court. There's Prince Kawi talking to Minati from Indonesia. Seven, one. Oh, that's beautiful. What a wonderful drop shot. Gets right behind the shuttle, a lovely high racket position. And then the identical overhead stroke as if she was playing the shuttle any of the corners of the court with any pace. And there, I think, highlights how Zhang Ning has really developed since March 98 when she played Ye Zhaoying in the final of that All England. That clear from Ye Zhaoying was just slightly short. Normally, Zhang Ning would have just gracefully moved back and played a drop shot, but she had the strength in her legs in order to leap up and play the power shot. A good round the head. Look how she stayed in balance after going round the head. Ye Zhaoying off balance. You can see a very deep lunge at the back. Hadn't quite got to the base position. A lovely weight transference method of trying to recover to the base from Zhang Ning. You can tell from watching these two ladies, Ye Zhaoying's movement is so much more powerful and yet graceful at the same time. That's right, she really has a lovely style of moving around the court. Although all the Chinese ladies move perfectly around, they all have their own almost unique style. Although everyone thinks and considers them to come out of almost the same mold, they do have their own little facets of difference. Seven, 
Oh. Just a question of taking the shuttle too late, or was she trying to be too ambitious with that cross-court net shot? I think she was really forced into it. Look how deep she was in the court there. And then saw that she was going to take it late, so tried something different, so a little bit of ambition at the end. That's wide. Eight, two. Not often you see a player allow those to drop quite so close to the line. Normally, if the shuttle's short in court, a lot of them just put it away just to make sure. Look how close she was drawn into the net from that net shot. Well, that one of those occasions that you were talking about trying to go for the winner too early on in the rally. Zhang Ning just taking her time, toweling down at the side of the court. Ye Xiaoying, perhaps this is a bit of a psychological statement from Ye Xiaoying, staying on court. Says to her opponent and to the umpire, I'm ready to play on. See one or two occasions now where Ye Xiaoying is attempting to attack up the center of the court, narrowing down all the potential angles for her opponent to move her. That's wide. Nicely done. Eight, She's really stretching Ye Zhao Ying out wide with those angled smashes and then following forward to the net. Certainly is. Did very well on that occasion because Ye Zhao Ying's lift was at the centre of the court. You can see the ease with which she can just move in to kill that one. Three, eight. Well, that was really very ambitious indeed. She hadn't got behind the shot at all. Trying to play it cross court. Incredible. Ye Xiaoying's net shot. She took the shuttle so late, still tumbled it over the net. Even clipped the top of the tape on the way over. So it's over. Oh, well, there was a huge gap there. All Ye Xiaoying had to do was play it back into court. Oh, it's just long. Nine, four. But Zhang Ning was beginning to look very tired in that rally. Maybe a question mark over her fitness? I think we're going to find out today. You can see that she's got a bandage on her right knee. That's her lunging leg, which possibly means that there may have been an injury that has prevented her from training at the intensity with which she wants to. I'm quite sure that Ye Xiaoying will try to extend her as much as she possibly can to test that fitness. So it's over. Four, nine. It seems to me as if Zhang Ning is breathing very heavily indeed. She really is putting an awful lot of effort to take the shuttle early, keep on the attack. 
But that bandage on that right knee, Anthony, doesn't seem to give an awful lot of support. Perhaps more of a preventative measure. Uh, doesn't seem any problem with her movement there. Difficult stroke to perform. She was in a deep lunge position, arm outstretched. Very difficult then to control the shuttle off the face of the racket. You can see how low she was taking it there. Zhang Ning was right on top of the net. That is brilliant. Wonderful play. The angle smash moved forward, just caressed the shuttle cross court. We see an awful lot of short serving in men's singles nowadays, Anthony. Why don't we see it more in ladies' singles? I think really in men's singles it's because of the athleticism of the men. The fact that they can play a low serve, retreat to their base position, then any flick that's played flat to the back corners, a man can intercept that probably with one jump. And that's why we see a lot of that. The ladies, despite being tremendous athletes, haven't got that strength in order to cover that same distance as a man has. Oh, that's nice. Five, nine. Good two-footed jump out to make the interception. Look at the high arm position as well. That enables her to bring the shuttle down steeply. Just too late onto the shot. And that's because of the quality of play from Zhang Ning. Landed in, and she's taken the opening game against the reigning champion and two-time world champion, Ye Zhao Ying. So a brilliant start for the underdog. 11-5, the opening game, and Zhang Ning is looking good. Ye Zhao Ying, the reigning champion, just wandering around the court of course 90 second timeout allowed between the first and second games both these players chinese so no coach on court for either lady left to their own devices the coaching staff from china quite happy they're guaranteed this ladies singles title because of course all four semi-finalists chinese players and we know that gong Shizhou is already through to tomorrow's I'm sorry, Gong Shi Zhao, the, the more favoured player, lost in that other semi-final to Dai Yun. Love. And Anthony, we could be on for another upset here. We certainly could be. And the worrying thing for Ye Zhao Ying, quite often if you see her lose an opening game or a game in the middle of a match, you can say it's down to her Ooh, concentration, wow. but she seems to be focused on the match. It's just the quality of the play that Zhang Ning has come out with at the start of this match hasn't allowed Ye Zhao Ying to really impose herself on her. And it really is down to Ye Zhao Ying to play herself into this over. match now. Now, when you consider that she's trying to reach the final of this competition for the sixth consecutive time, and the young lady is only 24 years of age, and it just shows what a quality player Ye Zhao Ying is. She's got to find that quality pretty swiftly. And making so errors over. like that is not going to help her no. cause. That's on the line. Love two. Pinpoint accuracy. Renier Zhao Ying. Punch clear. 
falling on the back line. One, two. You could see what Zhang Ning was really trying to try there. She tried to give the shuttle a lot of air so that it would fall down vertically on Ye Ying's side of the net. Just didn't give it enough forward motion. Over. Is Two, it that one. Ye Xiaoying is doing something wrong tactically, or, or is it the fact that she's just making unforced errors like that last one? I think it really has to go down to the unforced errors. Ye Xiaoying, with all her experience and knowledge about her opponent, must have a sound tactical game plan which she's implementing, one that's worked in the two occasions they've met in this in competition before, but also ones that have probably one, worked two. against her in training. As I think just at the moment, Ye Zhou Ying's game hasn't got the edge to it that Zhang Ning's has. Two all. That's wide. Three, two. And I still think that Ye Xiaoying perhaps needs to outmaneuver her opponent more. I think she needs to hit to all four corners, move Zhang Ning as much as possible. I think four, quite definitely two. you mentioned in the opening game that Zhang Ning really did feel the pace of that long rally. And also there was a bit of psychology when Ye Xiaoying didn't go and towel off in that opening game, stayed on court. She also That's in the 90 that. seconds stayed on court, didn't sit down, and Zhang Ning did. So it's almost as if Ye Zhaoying's confident that she perhaps has got the long, the better fitness level than her opponent. So it's over. 4-2. Oh, that's a great lift from the net. Spinning net shot from Ye Ying. And yet her opponent had the control to lift it right to the back of the court. Uh, there signs to me as if Zhang Ning is going for a winner's too early, and that is perhaps a sign of fatigue. That's right, it's either one of two things. It's either fatigue or a little bit of over-enthusiasm from Sensing perhaps that the world champion isn't on her best form at the moment. You know, you don't get many opportunities against players of Ye Zhaoying's caliber, but perhaps she's just trying a little bit too hard. Oh, it's just wide. Well, Zhang Ning going for the kill at the net. Launched herself forward. There's no way she was going to recover from that. Good athleticism from Zhang Ning. Takes a lot of leg strength to pounce in. Yeah, he did well. Look how she reacted. She thought it was on the backhand, switched to the forehand, but steered it wide. Three, four. Oh, that's a long way beyond the baseline there. Yes, nicely done. That really was. She'd made one or two errors by going for big smashes off balance. Have a look at this stroke. It's all about technique. Racket goes up, clips down, and just directs it with the face of the racket. Beautiful balance. You can see she's recovering and then powering him forwards for any reply. Well, the indecision. Thought perhaps the shuttle was going to go long. And then choosing to play it. By the time she'd made up her mind, it was far too late. Watches it. Well, hitting long with an overhead backhand clear. Not many ladies in the world 
that could possibly do that. It was another great lift from Zhang Ning. What oh, she's doing so well with those lifts, look how flat it is. That means that Ye's net shots aren't as tight to the net as they could be. But that was superb power. She didn't expect to put that out. Well, I just sense this is a crucial moment within the match. And I think perhaps both players realise that as well. Fantastic play from Ye Ying. The reverse sliced forehand drop shot to get the weak lift, which he then thundered down in the same line. Sounds over. Ball off. Certainly has enough opportunities, but just doesn't seem to take them, Ye Ying. Yes. Such a huge effort to stretch the racket out towards the net, tumble that net shot. Another good lift from Zhang Ning, really counteracting Ye Zhao Ying's net play. Once again, it's Zhang Ning that wants to tell down. I'm Ye Zhao Ying doing the same thing. But Anthony, it's opportunities like that. I know it was a good lift. You're quite right in pointing that out. But Ye Zhao Ying making the error with her drop shot. She shouldn't be doing that. That's absolutely right. You can see she's in perfect balance. There's no need to play that shot so tight. She knows that all the ladies she's going to play at this level are going to get those drop shots back more times than not. She should play it with a margin of error. And she should play it as a means to an end rather than trying to play it as the winning shot. That's tremendous. It really is a glorious smash from Zhang Ning. Made difficult by the fact that she played it almost from the centre of the court. Five, six. A clenched fist from Zhang Ning at the end of that rally. She's had a number of service rotations to try and get her score moving off four. Yeah, that's brilliant. It's well thought out, that final shot. In badminton, it's easy to run in a straight line. The difficult bit is going back to where your opponents just come from. So she knows that Zhang Ning's retreat a very deep lunge on that forehand side and can't get back there. So it's over. Five, six. a couple of errors on her backhand side now from Ye Zhao Ying and it's all square, six all. Oh, 
That is amazing. Well, I know that Ye Zhao Ying has one of the best net shots in world badminton, but you won't see better than that. Certainly won't set up, though, by the overhead backhand, which drew Zhang Ning into a very long shot, which gave showing the time for the spinning net shot. And then she serves out. Works hard to get the service back and then throws it away. Seven, six. And another unforced error. Oh, that's brilliant. Eight, wow. It's not often you see Ye Zhao Ying left standing. Absolutely not. Ye Zhao Ying probably aware that Zhang Ning's been lifting so well from that position. And Zhang knows it. Just caresses that cross court. Look how she springs back as well. Ye Zhao Ying in no man's land. That's over. Oh, my goodness. Eight, eight. Oh, Ye Zhao Ying is living dangerously. There was a space cross court there. If Zhang Ning had got that over, I think Ye Zhao Ying would have been in all sorts of trouble. So it's all about eight, six. Yes. It's what Ye Zhao Ying does best is setting herself up with this spinning net shot, forcing the, war the weak lift and then putting it away. That's right. It's almost as if she's been expecting the very short lift and has been amazed at how deep Zhang Ning's been able to lift the shuttle to the back of the court. And one reason for that is of course that the closer the shuttle is to the net, the higher you no, have to hit over. it. Ye Zhao Ying's net shots Eight, earlier on in six. this match have been coming deep into court and that's allowed Zhang Ning to push out a lot flatter than she's been expecting. Well, well inside. That is a fantastic shot. Six, mainly due to the fact that she's been probing with the slice down to Zhang Ning's forehand side for a number of the last serves. And that time, she just opened the face of the racket, pushed it down the line. And that's Seven, clever. Eight. Having played, as you pointed out, first down the forehand side, then down Zhang Ning's backhand side, that time hitting it straight at her. It's gone wide. Eight all. It's almost back like that, level. That little bit of excitement's come back to Zhang Ning that we saw at the start of this game. Senses she has a chance to beat the great Ye Zhao Ying, then starts to play an unnatural game, trying to hit winners off the first shot. Yes, yeah, so and look at the reaction from Zhang Ning. So disappointed after she hits this into the net. I think a lot of it's tension. It's the touch shots. You see that hits about eight inches below the tape. Already didn't have the control in the racket head she needed. caught out, moving forward to the net, and Ye Zhao Ying just flicking it over her head. So from 6-8 down, Ye Zhao Ying now 10-8 up. Game point. Leveled it at one game all. 
and I said that she was living dangerously. My goodness, she left it late to make her comeback in that second game. Certainly did, but used a lot of guile as well. Switch the attack. So one game all in this latest single semi-final. We'll be back with the decider. Welcome back to the National Indoor Stadium here in Brunei. Semi-finals day here at the World Grand Prix Finals. In the middle of a ladies' singles. Don't forget, of course, live action from the finals tomorrow. 1500 Hong Kong time. Uh, it's 2030. Delayed in India. And of course, more badminton action. The All England Championships from Birmingham in England starts on the 16th of March. Goes through. Also, Swedish Open badminton as well. 23rd of March at 2100 Hong Kong time. So plenty of exciting badminton coming up on Star Sports, but we've an exciting third game to go here in this latest singles semi-final. Ye Xiao Ying, the reigning champion, gets this third game underway against Zhang Ning, her teammate. Of course, Zhang Ning took the first game, 11-5. Ye Zhao Ying from 6 8 down came back to take the second game 11 8. And Anthony does Zhang Ning belief that she can win this now. I think the belief may well have been shattered. She played some wonderful badminton for the lead 8 6 in that second game. And then, as if almost got a little bit overexcited, started going for winning shots when she's been constructing the rally so well to get into that position. And now, immediately, Ye Zhao Ying's imposing herself on. A younger compatriot and I think these early stages is essential for Zhang Ning to get some rallies under her belt get some points on the board and get that belief back yes that's well long of the back line I think credit must be given to the world champion in shot there. The way that she suddenly switched her tactics really varied the attack at the end of that second game proved decisive, pulling her apart, her opponent one way, switching it the other, then attacking up the middle, really left her opponent with no choices at all. So five love already in this deciding game. Yeah, and that's just amazing. We saw one or two of those net shots earlier on in the match. But what's so extraordinary, she plays that so tight to the net when her opponent is looking to come in and make the kill. You're under so much pressure playing that, and yet still has the accuracy. But I guess that's why she's two times world champion. And Anthony now six love players changing ends for the last time in this semi-final. I question the belief of this young lady. Having had the opportunity in that second game to win in two straight, I don't really think that she believes in herself anymore. I quite agree with you. She knows that this quality of performance that Ye Zhao Ying's pulled out of the bag here in the deciding game, of course, that's why we perhaps saw Zhang Ning really probably trying to go for it a little bit too much in the second game. She was always wary that Ye Zhao Ying could produce the goods as she's doing so now. Eradicated the errors, playing with such accurate shots to the front of the court, setting up those shots down from the rear court. So it's over. Love seven. Well, she has an opportunity now. But love seven down. She has to start scoring some points. So it's over. Seven love. And again, the body language of Zhang Ning telling the tale. So it's, over. Love it's amazing how it's 
changed from that opening game where really Zhang Ning was commanding every rally, dictating the pace, and now it's very much the other way around. One seven. That was a lovely switch from Zhang Ning. We saw an exquisite backhand cross-court net shot from her in the second game. This time it was on the forehand side. Yeah, that's what she was doing in the first game. She was commanding the rally. She did so again there. And what a difference it made to the result of the rally. Certainly was. Look how she pulled Ye Zhang out of position. A lovely caressed cross-court block. Taking it a little bit later than yeah, you would have possibly wanted to. Didn't really fully commit herself. And she was wary in case her opponent got the shuttle back. Yeah, but that's nice. Three seven. Slicing across the feathers, bringing it down so steeply. Oh, that's wide. What a backhand from Ye Ying. Certainly was. You could see that Zhang Ning had committed herself for the drop shot, which Ye's been playing so well. This time Ye Ying played it down with a lot more pace. And the result was that Zhang Ning lost control of the shot. So it's over. Three, seven. Yeah, really hitting these smashes right down the, the side of the court, making the opponent really stretch. Oh, oh my goodness, mate. The line judge so hesitant. Asia Ying can't believe the call. Let's have another look at that. Well, I'm not surprised she's upset. No, she can't believe it. Well, then smacks one down the line herself. True champion. Some players would have lost their composure. Still been thinking about that line call. Instead, she knows the best way is to get the service back and get that point. That's over. Three, seven. She hasn't looked so secure on those little pushes down her backhand side during this match, Ye Zhao Ying. Certainly haven't. We saw a lovely one a couple of rallies ago where she played with a lot more pace. And of course, therefore, there's no way that she can make an error on it and I'd like to see her just do that a little bit more. Seven, three. Well that time not even attempting the backhand three, at all. Going around the headshot. the sort of shot where it just bewilders me with Ye Ying, such a quality player, and then to hit something like that is extraordinary. That really is such a nice kill. 
a lot of players would be off balance, falling, put that one out the side. Here's Zhao Ying. Look how she focuses, brings the racket head through so crisply. So it's over. And then Ball makes seven. yet another service error. So it's oh. over. Seven, four. Obviously a lot of tension out there on court. Worth the risk, perhaps worth going for it? Quite possibly. You've got to take those half chances. The lift wasn't exactly deep from Ye Zhou Ying. Perhaps just slightly off balance. You can see how the right leg came up to keep her balance. Yeah, that's nice. But they quite often say that it's the champions that play the big points the best. We've had two portions of the game where the scores have got stuck. Initially in the second game at 4-all, it was Ye Zhou Ying that then broke the spell after a number of service rotations, and then they seemed to get stuck at 7-4, and again it was Ye Zhou Ying that broke it. But Zhang Ning has come back very well, and is really trying to reel in the champion. Oh, that is superb. Well, I don't know whether you describe it as a fast drop shot or a half smash, but whatever it was, it was tremendous angle. singles really is all about angles look at this one takes that almost behind her but her wrist is so relaxed she's able to just turn the racket head that's a lovely angle of it she took it quite high it's the key around waist level and that meant she could play the shuttle with enough pace to be an outright winner even Ye Zhou Ying with her court coverage can't steer it back into court Interesting thing, though, after that rally, Anthony, it was Ye Zhao Ying who was the player that asked the umpire for a, a moment just to towel down, have a drink of water. Quite definitely, we saw Zhang Ning owing to perhaps fatigue and sweat earlier in the match, trying to get the towel downs, and Ye Zhao Ying not wanting to go off. This, I think, from Ye Zhao Ying was just to try and compose herself. So, eight all, deciding game. Ready. Yes. Well, hel helped by the net cord, deflecting the shuttle. Look how eager she is to get forward. Well, I think perhaps Ye Zhao Ying could have left the shot directed down her backhand side. I think it may have drifted wide, but she chose to play it. And that, of course, pushed her so wide in the court that she couldn't recover to get the shot down the far line. That's wide. Nice Well, I questioned at Love 7 whether Zhang Ning had the belief. <laughs> Certainly been proved wrong. Marvellous fight back. Serve back now with the world champion. Delightful finishing shot. You could see how short the lift was. Therefore, she knew Zhang Ning would be deep in the court. 
waiting for the attacking smash. So she just elected to play a softer shot, ensuring that she didn't make an error. 8-9. Oh, she's lost her confidence on the net play. And that's usually one of the best aspects of her game. Oh, that's well in. And would you believe it? Zhang Ning, match point over the reigning champion. everything right, forced the overhead backhand, but an exquisite clear from Ye Ying, and then the accurate smash down the line. Yes. Oh, she missed one of those earlier on in this deciding game. Around the head smash off a short lift. No mistake that time. And it's match point number two. Yeah. And she's done it. Another upset in the ladies' single semi final. Zhang Ning victory over the number one player in the world, Ye Zhao Ying. Unbelievable. Set love up in the final game. Ye Zhao Ying playing sensational badminton, but what a character. Zhang Ning is, not only did she get the belief back by playing herself back in, she started to outmaneuver her opponent, and who would have guessed it, we lose the World Championship finalist. And perhaps we're seeing the next generation of the Chinese ladies trying to establish them themselves over the old firm. Well, absolutely right. Gong Xiao beaten earlier today, and now Ye Xiao Ying, the favorite, is out as well. Zhang Ning now talking to Irene Choi. 那在第二局的时候呢，看见就是本来你在比分上八比六是领先叶兆颖，但是那时候呢心理上是起了什么变化？呃，当时也没有起什么变化，只是说对方又改变了战术，呃，运用发小球抢攻来，就是说这样打我